Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. What's up guys, Matt Day here, and today we are going to be talking about the SX-70 film from Polaroid Originals. A couple of weeks ago I made a video talking about the 600 film and what my experiences were shooting that with the one-step close-up camera, just like your typical box fold-out camera. And uh, in that video, I talked about how I was actually waiting on my SX-70 to arrive. This is one of my all-time favorite cameras, not just instant cameras, but uh, just cameras in general. I love the design of it, the fact that I can fold it down like that, slide this in my back pocket and carry it around. It's a really, really good camera. Uh, the lens is amazing on it. And I sold mine earlier at the year whenever um, I was just kind of getting rid of some cameras and then Polaroid Originals announces their, uh, you know, they've got new film and, uh, you know, cheaper prices and I was kicking myself for selling my SX-70. So I picked up one of these from Brooklyn Film Camera. Great people. They fully overhauled it, put new leather on it. And I have been having a blast shooting this thing over the last week or so. Uh, I bought four packs of the new SX-70 film. I bought two packs of color and two packs of black and white. And I shot through all four packs in no time. Uh, I was really, really excited to be shooting with this camera again. But the new film, if you watch my 600 video, you're not going to really hear me say too many different things in this one because same thing holds true for the SX-70 film. Uh, the colors look great. The developing time, it seems like it might be a little bit quicker, but you know, I, I shoot, I put it in my pocket, and I don't really worry about it. Uh, but the colors look great, contrast looks great. Um, being able to judge the exposure for me has been pretty consistent. Um, I feel like with a lot of the Impossible film years ago, I was always kind of back and forth with the light and darken, and I wasn't 100% sure exactly where to set it. Because, uh, you know, it's a it's the kind of camera that's going to choose your shutter speed for you and you just have this little exposure compensation dial to lighten or darken you don't have you know full manual control so at the time i would always just kind of guess and hope for the best but really it's been pretty consistent throughout this whole time uh shooting the new film where I knew exactly where to put it just based on, you know, the previous shot. And I wasn't really worried too much about being overexposed or underexposed. So it's been a really good film in terms of uh, predictability, which is not something I could always say with the older Impossible Project film. But black and white, again, I'm loving this film. Uh, nice high contrast, really, really just kind of a glow kind of highlight look to it. Um, or glow to the highlights, I should say. Uh, it just looks great. I'm really enjoying that film. And years ago when I got into shooting Polaroids, I never shot any of the black and white film with my one step. I bought that in, I think, 2005, and I was just buying the 600 film you could get at a pharmacy, just the standard color 600 Polaroid film. And, uh, you know, whenever Impossible first started releasing black and white film years later, I just kind of avoided it for a while. Uh, the first batch was black and white, but once they started making color, I didn't really grab any black and white because for whatever reason, I just thought that's not what I relate to a Polaroid, but um, I don't know, it's a weird thing. But uh, the new, uh, new stuff here, I've been shooting this a ton lately, and honestly, I think I might enjoy shooting the black and white more than the color and it never used to be that way but I really do like this film but I could sit here and talk about this all day what the most important thing is is just how it looks and sharing that with you guys so now I'm just going to go ahead and share some of my favorite photos I've made with this camera and the new SX-70 film over about the last week.
hope that gives you a good idea as to how the new film is performing. Uh, again, I can say it all day. I love the new film. I love shooting this stuff. The fact that we're paying less for a better product. I'm a big, big fan of this. Um, if you've never shot the SX70 before, uh, I have an old video on my channel talking about this camera. If you want to get more information on it, I'll also put a card for that up at the top of the screen. But uh, it's just one of my all time favorite cameras. I've got it tattooed on my arm here. It's just, it's phenomenal. And uh, really the portability is great. The, the quality of this lens is great. And if you're looking to get a really nice instant camera to use with the new film, I would recommend the SX70 unless you want something a little simpler and also cheaper. The new Polaroid One Step 2, I haven't got to actually shoot much with it. I've shot one photo in a camera store up in Columbus, uh, Midwest Photo. I went there, I shot a photo of my friend Josh who was in the previous video with me and the result was great. I left it there in the display case with the camera so I can't actually show it to you guys but uh, it looks really, really good. It's got a nice lens on it and uh, it's plastic, but still looks really good. The viewfinder was nice and bright and much bigger than I was expecting, so that was nice as well. Uh, I'm trying to get my hands on a review unit, but I think, honestly, what I'm gonna have to do is just go buy one at the, uh, the Columbus shop, Midwest Photo Exchange. I'm probably just gonna go buy one, that way I can make a video sooner, because people keep asking about it and I'm kinda getting tired of waiting on a review unit to, to get here. So I might just go ahead and bite the bullet and buy one myself. That way you guys can get a video out of it. So uh, if you're looking to get into instant film, I think that's a great option, but uh, the SX70 is something that I don't think can be matched or probably will ever be matched. Unless they create something based off of this, you know, this design, I really don't see them topping this. This is a phenomenal camera. And uh, if you need one of these, Brooklyn Film Camera is a great place to do it because they completely overhaul this, these things, uh, completely clean them up, new leather, make sure everything is good to go, all the gears inside and everything. They're trained to do this. Uh, really, really good stuff there. So I'll put a link for all that in the description. But if you guys have any questions at all about the new film, about the camera, what you'd like to see on the channel, as always, feel free to leave those in the comments below. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.